channel, Plenty Princess 92. My name is Ashley, and in today's video, this is going to be part two of my um, Vivo Sun Grow Tent setup. If you haven't seen the first video, I will put that right up at the top so you can just click that link to check that out. The first part of this little mini series was the grow light I chose, which again was the Vivo Sun Cree 1200 watt LED COB grow light. Um, so go ahead and check that video out and then head over to this one to check out the ventilation system that I chose for this grow tent. So we'll get started. I'll, I'll, if you see me looking down, I'm just referring to some notes that I had written down so I don't forget any important details about this fan. Um, ventilation system that I wanted to share with you guys, um, but we'll just get right into it. Tomorrow I will be installing this grow tent, setting up the whole thing and installing the light as well as this ventilation system fan. So I'll be making a video on that that will be coming uh, in the next day or two as well. So definitely look out for the third and final part of this little mini series. Um, I'm really excited to set that up and get some plants in there and see how this whole system works out. So the ventilation system I chose to go along with my Vivo Sun Grow Tent as well as the Vivo Sun Grow Light that I had just mentioned is the iPower 4 inch 190 CFM duct inline fan with a four inch carbon filter and eight feet of ducting. Um, as I mentioned, this is a Grow Tent ventilation system. Um, now I was looking for something that was high quality, reliable, and also, have, also has um, capabilities to be a little more on the quiet side. Now, although that wasn't the major um, buying feature for me because I am setting this grow tent up in its own room, so it's not like it's in my living room or a sunroom or in my bedroom where I have to worry about hearing any vibrations or fan noises or anything like that. Um, but it's also nice to know that although it is in its own room, I won't have to worry about hearing any of that while that door is closed. Um, so so it, it does have um, the capability to be a little more on the quiet side, which is, which is really nice because some of these fans and ventilation systems can be quite noisy. So the first thing I want to discuss is um, the fan vent blower. It is made from quality components, like I said, for the quiet uh, for the quiet operation. It has composite fan blades and also a center hub, which reduces the noise and the vibrations. It's also very durable. It it has a ceramic coating. It's pre lubricated, so it requires zero maintenance. Basically, um, that removes any heat from the actual system to resolve any air delivery problems that you could come across. Um, secondly, it comes with this uh, filter. Now, this filter actually uses an Australia carbon filter, which is one of the world's most absorbent filters available. Um, I thought that was really nice because I will be growing, if not all of my plants, definitely a majority of my plants, semi-hydroponically. So when keeping plants that you're growing either fully hydroponically or semi-hydroponically in an enclosed space, especially something as small as a grow tent, having all those plants sitting in all that water creates more of a pungent, powerful smell than it would if you would have them just growing in, you know, soil or uh, another solid substrate. Um, but again, having that water, all that water sitting there and evaporating is constantly creating a really strong smell. So having a filter that is really absorbent is was the big plus uh, for why I actually chose to go with this filter. Aside from the fact that, you know, it was again within my budget because I wasn't looking to spend a lot of money. This is just basically a starter grow tent that I am. I do have another actually grow tent was which was my starter grow tent. It's just one of your basic. It has the clear plastic um, casing over it. It's nothing um, too extravagant. But I, uh, for this, like for my growing starter grow tent, I guess, I mean, plants grow in both of my grow tents, but you know what I mean. 
this has the mylar lining and all that good stuff. It's, it's my other one. I wanted basically something to keep my uh, Hoyas in and some of my other humidity loving plants that I could still see them. Um, but this one is more to, for the growing aspect. Like I don't want them to be bothered. I want to create a nice, humid, hot environment to grow these plants. So I won't be opening it much. I'll be leaving them be to grow. Um, so I really wanted something that was able to keep out that smell from the grow tent and keep it out of the room as well. Um, it also comes with a pre-filter, which is also very nice. This goes on the outside of this casing here. Um, and that does prevent any dust, hair, pot hair follicles, particles, or any other debris that you can think of or that would come in contact with your filter. That kind of makes them so it doesn't go through, which makes your f actual carbon filter last longer. Um, it's recommended to replace the pre-filter every six months to best protect your carbon filter. You can find these online, Amazon, or you know, just type in your iPower four inch um, carbon filter pre-filter replacement, and this is what will come up. You will find this, and again, this fits the four inch. So if you're going to buy one of these, you definitely wanna make sure you get the right size for the filter that you have. Um, and again, mine is the four inch. It also comes with the ropes to hang um, this grow tent to install it. So these are nice strong cords that have the little clips for an easy installation um, that had no impact on whether I purchased this particular ventilation. I just thought it was nice that those came with that nice hardy wire. Um, this also has a fan speed control and it has three settings, uh, low, medium, and high. I really liked this because you can control um, the the speed of the fan and then it also doesn't go below 50% to prevent the motor from blowing out, which is great because I know for myself, I don't even know what that means. So I would be unsure if, you know, if it didn't have that safeguard on it, I don't know if I would be um, putting it below that point or not. So I really liked that. Um, but I like that you can control this because if it's, you know, I, I want to keep it as low and energy efficient as possible, but still enough to take out the smell, keep the heat under control and all that good stuff. So, you know, I'm thinking hopefully the medium, if not the low, will control that and work uh, best for what I need it for and then I can keep it off that high mode so that way it's not running at its full effect but if I need it then obviously I will go ahead and do that I mean I'm not gonna um crisp out my plants for my electric bill but it would be nice it also comes with the four inch eight foot uninsulated aluminum aluminum ducting it does have two stainless clamps it's also flame retardant coating and corrosion resistant wire helix, which also endures temperatures of up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, obviously your grow tent won't be getting that hot, neither will mine. <laughs> um, but you know, when, you know, a lot of those littler grow lights um, do not put out as much heat. But when you start to go to the bigger grow lights, and install them in a grow tent, especially with that mylar lining so the light's constantly reflecting and bouncing around, it does tend to hold in a little bit more of that heat. So aside from the ventilation to kind of purify the air and keep the smell under control, you also need it to keep the temperature under control as well. Um, again, a lot of the plants that you or I would probably be growing in the grow tent, they do like warmer temperatures, but definitely probably not anything more than you know 80 90 degrees um so that's something that you definitely want to make sure that you're keeping under control when you are growing plants in a grow tent um now this is a multifunctional um uh, ventilation system it removes the heat it eliminates the undesirable ill smelling odors in the grow tent to solve air delivery problems without any major system rework or expenses 
So again, as long as you make sure you're replacing this filter every six months, I would say to a year max, you should be good on keeping your charcoal filter pretty uh, in good shape. I know I'm going to try to replace these every six months, probably eight months at the most. I don't want to go to a year because I do want to keep this in the best condition possible to last the longest. This wasn't too expensive. I think I paid $119 for this whole combination here and this will be everything I need to ventilate my grow tent. Um, I will be putting also a little six inch fan in one of the corners in my grow tent just to kind of keep the air flowing um, through the grow tent as well, kind of pushing the smell towards this. I, this does the job, it pulls it out, but even airflow in general for the plants is very important. So, um, but aside from that, for the ventilation purposes, this does provide everything you need to ventilate your grow tent. So again, don't forget that I will be setting up and installing all these things tomorrow in my grow tent and I'm very excited. I'm gonna make a whole video on how I'm gonna be doing that. I hope you enjoyed this video. This gave you a little insight and information on a ventilation system for your grow tent. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're interested in the content I provide. And as always, every plant's a princess. Bye.